From New York and on the new Hot 97 app, Ebro in the morning. On Hot 97. Ebro in the morning, the beautiful Laura Styles, Rosenberg's here, and the beautiful Stefan Don has finally got to the Yeah, show. yeah, yeah. Yeah, I mean, finally makes it sound like it's I've been, been stalking years. her. I've been stalking her. Oh, that's, uh, that's for a minute. So you've been waiting from the Instagram. Oh, I've been stalking her too, Ebro. This is she's the first artist that I slid into her DMs. You did? did you? Yes, early. I didn't to tell you that I like your music. Is that what you said? What else see. you say? You that's like, it. Fucking liar. What else, I did, I, what else would I say? Oh, that's late. I didn't even know that. It was a long time ago. Just play along. Uh, like sixteen shots. That you know when that came out. Okay, yeah, wow. that was, that was yeah. a while ago. You guys are both creeping. I rare circumstance where I'm. The one not creeping. Very rare. I was just yeah. really excited because of her versatility. Like the 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 melodies are great. You know what I mean. The the fact that you're Jamaican, so there's dance hall yeah. vibes to it too. Mm-hmm. Um, you are from Jamaica, or no, you're from the UK, but your parents yeah, are Jamaican. Yeah, my parents are Jamaican. Yeah. And so let's quickly let's talk about your mother. My mama. Yeah, because on 16 shots, apparently someone was playing with moms. <laughs> And you were very uh, aggressive about them fucking with your mom. Yeah. Is that based on some real shit or somebody just around it, the way? It kind of was... is. It kind of is. So, okay, I didn't do nothing to the people, but basically my mom goes to church. And could you believe something went down in the church? No. Mm. Mm. My mom didn't yeah. tell me because she knows I will come so to you... the church. <laughs> so my mom had some altercation with someone in the church, but she never told me. So like weeks later, so I heard someone talking about it. I'm like, what happened in the church? And then they told me, but the lady that she had the altercation with already left. So you was going to beat the lady up? Yes. I would be in that church. Everybody beating everybody. What? <laughs> no, you don't want to do that. No, see, see, that's why she didn't tell me. But, right. Yeah. So there is, um, there has been talk, when I first heard of you, you have like a girl, uh, uh, let me call them a gang or a collective, let's call them a collective just to make it sound nicer, Collect. but uh, of, of individuals that you go and show up to clubs with and you guys take over clubs and there's a whole girl thing and in the video there's a bunch of girls and you really move around with these girls that yeah we got a couple of gallons that we stuff out with from time to time but you know it is it's when i go out the guys would be like bring bring all your girls so i'm like all right cool but so you guys don't go to beat people up <laughs> no we're such good people we don't do that but you just no, said you was gonna beat. No, them. but well, that was her mom. But that's that, that's my, that's oh. you know if a situation. She's occurs, good. She just picture, don't right? test. But her, I don't look for it. trouble. On, bro. I'm not. I'm don't look for trouble. Fine, I'm not bro. that type of person. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. That makes sense to me. That doesn't mean just because she simply would go into a church to beat someone up. Did you listen to would... Sixteen Shots? No, I've not heard the words. i have not said. I mean, it's definitely gun talk. Like you, I know it's part of the. Fuck with my mom. I'm gonna shoot you in your face. Well, her mom's a lovely woman who needs the protection. <laughs> yeah, every, I think everyone feels the same about their mom. Exactly. What did your, your mom, what did she say when she heard the record? She loved it. She's in the video. Oh, really? Yeah, she's a lady in the video. Like, someone gets kidnapped, that's her. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. And then I come and save her. Yeah, she's in the video. She's she like, oh, honey, it. that's sweet. Thank you. Yeah, she loves it. And that's just famous in church, so. <laughs> she's mad famous. Now, did you tell the lady she had the altercation with that I was a dedication? No, like, did you, I don't know who she is. Did you get up during church announcements? It was <laughs> like, yo, I just put out this song. Nah, I've never dedicating been. to sister, <laughs> sister so and so, sister Patricia. <laughs> nah, <laughs> I've never before. seen her. I don't even know where she is. Was your was the evolution of your name as simple as like you hear Teflon Don? You're like, ah, ah Steflon Don. Is it that simple, or was there more? Was it like, hmm, did you... Because it's pretty... Well, Steph London. She's from London. Steph. Yeah, if you put the London and yeah. the Dom together, it says London. Right. That's what I'm saying. So it's, yeah. it, it's rare that you have a name... And my with... name is Steph. It's right. Stephanie, so yeah. So it's pretty dope, though, because Steph London makes perfect sense branding-wise, and mm-hmm. then Steph London is hot because Steph London's yeah. hot. So what was the problem? Was it... A, did it come together at one time? How'd that come? Yeah, so basically, when I was, like, 19, I had, like, this manager, and we was looking for names, and then he must have come one day, and he's like, listen, I have a name for you. It's um, Steph London. And I was like, what? And I just started rapping at the time, so I wasn't that good. I was kind of like, eh. So when I heard that name, I knew that name was proper big. I was like, I can't, you can't call me that. Like, I'm like, eeny beedy. Like, nah, my rap wasn't on, on point. So then I must have gone and told my friends that this guy's trying to call me Steph London. Could you believe it? So I'm laughing about it, telling my friends. And then they just started calling me it. And then as time went on, I started to grow and I started to become way more better with the rap and way more confident. And then I thought, okay, this name actually does suit me, so... <laughs> You grew into it. Big. I you grew, grew into, into it, yeah. That's nice. And I, had to, I live up to my name, you know? So when did it start, though? When did you start rapping and singing and... So I come from a musical family. So my dad, he does music. My mom, my sisters sing. My brother raps. There's like seven of us. So my mom and dad got seven kids. So I grew up in a household with all these kids that just singing, rapping, doing the most. And I, my, every time 
my brother would put on a beat, I would start freestyling, doing some rap stuff, but I always loved to sing. I didn't really like to rap. So I'd always want to sing, but my sister was a singer. She was way better than me. So I used to always try to look a ting, but it, she always had the shine. But then she used to always say to me, Steph, why don't you rap? You're so sick at rapping. And I was like, I don't want to rap. I want to be a singer. I thought she was maybe trying to like, <laughs> scoot up it. <laughs> like, I'm the singer, like, you rap. But yeah, but then as I got older, like I was in the studio. I used to get shy to sing and my voice wasn't the greatest anyway. So I thought, okay, cool. I'm going to take this rapping thing serious. So then I must have laid a rap track one day. And this was like a community studio. So people would come in and out. They could listen to your sessions. Right. I got bare calls like, Steph, oh my gosh, this track is sick. And when I used to sing, ain't nobody calling me saying this was sick. So I thought, okay, cool, I like this. So then I started to proper take it serious. And then, yeah, I like 2021, 20, I started to always go to studio and just do some rap stuff. And wait, how long ago was that? This is the last couple, few, two, three years ago. Yeah, like three, three, four years ago, five years ago. And over the last few years, like the... The 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 rap scene in the UK and the grime scene has really popped off. Like Proper. timing wise, it really couldn't be any better as someone who's growing because the movement's growing. Yeah, it's mad. It's proper sick. The movement is good over there. Um, and where do you where does where does Steph Landon fit into that into that world, or do you not think about it in that context? Do you just think about the overall context of hip hop? I definitely think about it overall. Remember, I'm, my parents are Jamaican. I grew up in Holland, and then I moved to England. I was born in England, but I moved away from when I was like four or five. So I've been like, I feel like I've been around the world and I've grew up, seen a lot of things. So I don't put myself in a box or in a particular country. I just feel like my sound is just big. It's universal. It could fit on anything. And I could jump on anything as well. Do you know what I mean? And it would still be Steph London. It could put me on yeah, the EDM, whatever. That tape you have out is literally every type of style. Yeah. That real team tape. And then you have the record with French Montana, which is like a, it's almost like a mainstream Caribbean track. Yeah. It's a, bit, it's a bit Afro beat as well, mixed with, yeah. with the dancehall. It's like just a mix. Which is a lot of the music that's happening nowadays, though. yeah. Especially out of the UK, because you have kids who are first generation African. They grew up on hip hop. There's Jamaican influence, obviously, in the UK. So mm -hmm. it makes sense. Um, I'm just staring at how pretty you are. That's probably thank whack, you. but I just want to point that out. Uh, you're just yeah, thank gonna... you. God, so sweet. I don't know where if people. That's are not able... professional. <laughs> I don't even know if you can do it anymore. Post Harvey Weinstein, you can't. You might so you lose can't your job. say somebody's might been, pretty. Yeah, you might want to pass it off to Lauren. Just let her do the rest of the interview. It might be okay. Wait, 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 wait. He so can, wait, wait. He can compliment a say, woman. No, he's allowed to. No, no yes. more compliments. She just gave me permission. Yeah, he's uh, I don't know his audio. <laughs> now, now I think they're gonna take her album away. Uh, <laughs> <No>. <laughs> um. So where I know in America, right? Like, um. Even though we've had the success of Slick Rick, we've had the artists like Moni Love who come from, you know, and have British backgrounds and accents. I hear today often when it comes to, like, grime MCs like Skepta or you're listening to, like, when the Crept and Conan's had moments mm -hmm. over here and different artists, gigs even, yeah. that come over here and, and they, you know, they are um, on tracks with Drake or they have records that start to pop off. You start to hear people saying they don't understand, even though the language is it's, clearly yeah, it's English. English. <laughs> but the slang is different. The slang is different. And the, sometimes the tense of things is mm -hmm, different. Mm -hmm. um, how do you plan on, you know, I mean, obviously getting to know people, but are, are you hearing, do you hear that from people? That people say they don't really understand. Yeah. Kind of, so, but I definitely think it's more to do with the slang. I definitely think that's because I know Giggs uses a lot of, a slang, lot of slang, like slang, proper. Yeah. He does it more than Skepta. Skepta's a bit more, a bit more straightforward. But yeah, I could understand. But then at the same time, they are speaking English. We're not very smart, okay? That's Here's one thing, thing about America. Yeah, like, you yeah. have to know. We are Steph. not very bright. We do not follow that stuff. But I will say, it puts you in an interesting spot, though, because as much as we talk about it, Ebro, we can all sit here and we've probably talked more about no, not probably. We have talked Definitely. more about UK rap on this show than probably any yeah. rap-related show in America. And the truth of the matter is, no one has actually crossed over to America fully yet. Yeah, it has not happened. Mm -hmm. Like we can say, like, oh, let me everyone. The, like I'm talking it's about internet buzzworthy stuff. And it hasn't it, really gone. And, to... and they might be able to do like a thousand seater here or something like that. But no mm -hmm. one's coming here and doing ten thousand seats. Yeah. Um, does that, even though you said you consider yourself not just necessarily British mm -hmm. but kind of international generally. Does that challenge sort of excite you, though, to be like, let me see if I could be the person who go makes it everywhere in the U.S.? Yeah, I, I definitely think I will be. As long as I keep working and just putting the work in, just keep keep putting out good shit. And also being here a bit more often. Like, this is my first promo run on the radio, so I haven't been on 
um, American radio, none of that stuff. So it's good to just put my foot in and see like what's going on and have a feel. I also think something that has not been done, and I've been saying this as loud as I could, I think we're all on the same page about this. None of these British artists who have like dope voice voices, mm. but maybe to your point, Ebro, the slang is a little tough for people to understand all the bars. I'm like, why don't they just get hooks more? Yeah, like, why don't they have a big American rapper who they're friends with, and they jump on the hook yeah. and use that slang repeated on a chorus no, so people... Like you, you, yeah, could be more on a tape here? I'm a and I mean, It just I makes mean, sense. But at the same time, you lot, cool. do, you, lot, you lot do have a lot of music that people don't understand anyway. A very good point. Like a lot of rappers out here. Well, how dare you? Well, well it goes well, this way. I love it, though. I know, I know. I right, love but it, it goes this way, right? So <laughs> but you're, most, dead, you're dead ass right, though. <laughs> most black people have family in the South if you live in America. Yeah. So the Southern slang is kind of a part of okay, a, a relationship part. just because you know somebody or you went to college. Yeah, in but the don't, South let's not or, sit here and act like she's not right. We, we play songs all the time. They're like, we don't know what the fuck they're talking about. No, absolutely. Like mumble rap. We re, It's not like we understand <laughs> translate the mumble. I mean, maybe Coach K, because he's around it all the time. It's like, he, he's too old, too. He doesn't know what they're talking about. But guys, even like with Reggae, yeah, I don't understand everything that they're saying, but that's my joint when I hear it. I love yeah, the, the record. Yeah, I understand, but the difference is, maybe that's what it is, is the melody. So you guys maybe well, and the also too, we, li we live in New like, York, right? So we yeah. grew up with dancehall, right? Mm -hmm. And where you have Jamaican Patois, which has its own slang, and we have Jamaican friends. Yeah, so it's an know, international like city. Yeah. This is different than most cities yeah. that in America. Most cities in America ain't like New York. Yeah. Where you got have friends who are from, who are British, mm -hmm. who are also Jamaican, who are African, who are Dominican, right? Yeah. Like you have all these different things. I don't understand what they're saying on the on the Spanish records, but right. them shits but is fire. It sounds lit, innit? Yeah, them shits is yeah. fire. It's a slow burner, though. I feel like when once more people start to gravitate to what they really have to do, like you said, maybe that's some of the stuff. Do a lot of interviewers uh, call you like proper interviewers call you Steph London instead of Steph London? Yeah, they do that as well. They're terrible. I don't well, mind, I, I, though. No, you can't. You can't. It's written in a way that you're yeah. not going to be able to... start coming for them. Yo, fix my name, baby. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Say my as shit long, right. Listen, as long as I'm okay about you spelling name. it right, I want you to spell it right. But however you say it, that's cool. Nah, son. You don't think that's cool? Nah. All right, you get onto them. You got to... Draw a line and you stand. But you she intentionally pong, created pong, a name. Pong, pong, pong. You gotta hit your shit. You <laughs> know Not if you make a name that's specifically intended to kind of get said both ways, though. Like, you didn't yeah, have well. it. It's not coincidentally London. Beyonce didn't let that slide. Kanye didn't let that slide. Say it right. So when it comes time, shit is right. Let should be right. Okay, Ebro's gonna get onto them for Yeah, me. you handle I'm it. Gonna, I'm gonna say Steph, I, pro I, saw I probably you. won't, but I'm just saying. <laughs> yeah, he's not. I saw you went on tour with Migos and Pusha. How was that? I didn't go on tour with me. I went on tour with Future. With Future. Future. Oh, okay. Yeah, okay, okay. I went, How I was that? Off the, um, the Europe tour was lit. It was actually really good. Was that all in the UK? No, it was Europe. So we did Germany, um, I think Sweden, and all them countries. But it was good. So it was you, Future, and who else? Um, Rich the Kid was on there, Zoe Dollars, and um, someone else. I don't know who they really were. But... Rappers in your DMs heavy right now? Yes. Oh, my God. Yes. <laughs> Fam, I was in a DM, so yes. <laughs> Yeah, but that's not even the same even thing. Yeah, my my DMs is pretty full. We can look at them. Yeah, but I don't... <laughs> yeah. why are you trying to see my DM? No, I'm not gonna snitch. <laughs> Some of these people got people. <laughs> that's I always wonder how that works. How when you're like an attractive woman who lots of people are DMing, do you guys really bother looking through the request DMs? I do only because I found DJ Khaled in there. And I found like Foxy you, Brown in there, so I'm like, yeah. So like I'm there are important looking. ones. Yeah, that can yeah, yeah. Sneak so in there, there are important yeah. ones, yeah. but I don't be replying to a lot of like the guys that when they hit me up, I don't say anything. I just like, okay. Yeah, mm. it's probably a good idea. Yeah, you can know. read through it pretty quick. Like if you saw Ebro in your, in the DM, you know what it is. <laughs> and no, just, I replied to Ebro. <laughs> oh, you already were in her DMs because yeah. I don't think you volunteered that. <laughs> Only Laura did. Laura, you volunteered at all? Yeah, I said it first. Okay, I said I've been creeping on for, from the beginning. I don't think yeah, you said you DMs the though. DM, though. Yeah, no, because no, I did more. I tweeted. I added her. You yeah, know, he's mad. He's I, mad supportive. Ebro is that what you call it? Yeah, he is. He's super supportive. You should see how you should see how supportive I am of some of the girls I I watch on the internet all the time. Pay for Aren't the you support? You pay for the. I pay for bangbros.com. Yeah, I support them every supportive. single month. You do. Month. You're supporting them. Yes. There you go. You gotta support. <laughs> you gotta support. This Real matters. Support. This stuff matters. <laughs> Look, Stefan. Um, I want to know before we let you go about. Um, you said you wanted to sing more than rap. Is that where you're headed, or are you really trying to get to these bars? No, and are we going to start seeing freestyle? No, you that was before. No, I'm trying to get to these bars. So you trying to... Yeah. yeah. My next tune is actually bars. It's not even me singing. At all? Straight rap? Mm -hmm. Straight rap, yeah. Who are, who are the rap mm -hmm. influencers for mm -hmm. you? Who are the, I hate to be asked the generic question, but I am curious. Mm -hmm. Who are your favorites? 
Yeah, it's definitely a generic answer. <laughs> so it's a generic answer too? Yeah, it's just the, it's Don't say Biggie and Pac first. You can skip nah. Biggie and Tupac. <laughs> when it comes to females, it's always like the Lil' Kim and the Foxy's. No, but seriously, I really did grow up on listening to Lil' Kim and Foxy and admiring their stuff. And like, I remember when they'd be rapping with males. I didn't care about what the guys had to say. I'd be waiting to hear them come in and they would always kill it anyway. And they'd always say some shit that was just kill out the guys and I used to love that I used to think I want to be just like that like where people wait to just hear me and that's how it kind of is right when there's a female rapper on the track you kind of just wait to see what she's going to do and that's that's good that's why I'm just being nosy but what did Foxy Brown say to you oh I think I posted it she was just like yeah you're sick you're the real thing I was talking to her um, yesterday as well and she's yeah. Caribbean oh so y'all talk yeah. a lot yeah we talk a little bit yeah that's dope yeah, and she's, she's Caribbean cool. too that's so tight. I'm sure she's yeah she's excited. from Trinidad yeah my grandma's actually off Trinidad my mom. Sean, our friend Sean is uh, Trinidadian, but he pretends to be Jamaican. Um, <laughs> but uh, what what other like uh, so you always you were always someone who paid attention to the female MC. I find that interesting, cool. Yeah. So that means you always, on some level, from very young age, were like, I could, I, I'm interested in doing this. Yeah, no, I always knew I wanted to do music. I, the first time I went to the studio, I was nine. I was nine and I was What did you do in the studio? You were rapping? Yeah, I had um, some guy actually brought me and his name was Unique and he wanted he wanted a kid on the hook. So it was kind of like, you know the Jay-Z, the Hard Not Life? Yeah, yeah. So you yeah. know like the kid on the hook? I was that kid on the hook. I was rapping. Did anything did come out? Yeah, but this was like back in the days. I don't even know where you put that. I don't know, <laughs> I don't know what, if YouTube even existed when I was nine. What was your first uh, rap name before you... Stephlon? I never had one. So Stefan Don's the first name? Yeah, that's my first name. You don't have like Lil S Doggy or something? She was just little, <laughs> go get Steph. Nah, she was go just Steph. Steph. No, I didn't, drop my first, I didn't drop my first music video to... to 2013, which was five years ago. Wow, you're very lucky to have that good a name as your first name. You don't hear that every day. Don't yeah, you? No, it's a home run. That's definitely well, I got, I got Flex to thank then. Thank you, Flex. Which Flex? No, you don't know him. He's your manager who came up with the name? <laughs> no, he was at the time. He wanted to manage me, so we... I was about to say, yo, Funk Flex out here. No. This is it. It's popping. It's popping. No. So, um... Because you were such a fan of of other women, obviously, and having a relationship with Foxy and working with other women, is yeah. that going to be a part of... Yeah, definitely. I don't want to be one of them artists that just thinks I'm way too big and I can't chat to other females. I love it. I love... I'm confident, so I'm cool. I'm cool with bringing other females. And I do that all the time in the UK. Like, I do tracks with females. I don't... I'm not trying to be, you know what I mean, the only thing going, so... I love it. Have you and Little Sims done anything together yet? No, we haven't. Mm. We haven't. Mm -hmm. Little Sims is really like based here a lot more than. Yeah, she has. Over yeah. the last year, she's been here a lot. Yeah, she's not really that much present. I see her a couple of times, but she's not that much. Has she been the. Like, are there other names that we don't know besides Little Sims that have sort of gotten big uh, female MCs in yeah, the UK? Yeah, you got Miss Banks. Wait, but Miss Banks just got bigged up by somebody. Oh, Nicki Minaj. Yeah, yeah, yeah Nicki Minaj. Up. That yeah, was yeah. dope. Yeah, that was yeah, dope. that's sick. And I love Miss Banks. I probably love her, and I always want her to do well. So that's that's good because now the labels are gonna start looking at her just from that one tweet. Which it's amazing needs. what that can do too. Crazy, and it's so good for her. I'm so happy for her. Have you connected with other like American artists, uh, female artists like a Nicki or a Cardi or a Remy? Uh, no, I haven't spoken to any of them. But I love Cardi though. Yeah, she's dope. Yeah, I Cardi's huge in the UK. Yeah. Like, yeah, she's massive. Bruh. Yeah, she I was could, big from loving him. Before she even did that yeah. tune, she was big. Yeah, I believe that. She was big from IG, right? Yeah, just yeah she was just big from loving hip hop. Everyone loved her from then, yeah. And forever. When she said that, <laughs> that was going around. Like, that was like the meme of the, of the month. Yeah, she's she's sick, man. Everyone loves her. Um, well, salute to you. Uh, I want to get into this French Montana record. Yes. Um, how's this picking up for you? How's this work? I'm not paying yeah, it's attention. Doing it's like, doing good. Like, yeah, doing and good? Do you, you got the label good? guys do doing your job? Oh, really? Oh, nice. Okay. <laughs> no play. You mean added here? You mean we're, we added it? Oh, nice. Got added here, too. No, but but you said it's top 10 record in the UK, yeah, right? Yeah, UK, Europe is doing proper good. Playing on all the formats. Playing everywhere. I'm, when I was um, touring with Future, I was kind of skeptical because I have to tour all these cities, so I'm not sure if they know who I am. But when it came to that song, that and 16 Shots, they knew it. Like, they proper knew it, word for word. So, yeah, it's a big tune. That's dope. And has your music picked up in Jamaica and, and with that scene also, with the dance hall scene or not yet? Yeah, no, it's not really that much popping, but it's picking up. And I'm going to go over there as well and do a run, so it should be good. Gotta who's touch your, down who's Jamaica. Your, who's I love Jamaica. Jamaica. I love Jamaica. Who's your dream dance hall feature, if you were to Vibes get Vibes Okay. Okay. I, I figured, it, I mean, he's the legend. Yeah, he's lit. I'm going to get him on my next project, though. 
Normally, I would say that wouldn't be possible because he's in jail. But then I remember he's Vibes Cartel, <laughs> yes. and he's probably making a song as we speak he right now. He's more tracks since he's been in jail yeah. than out. Exactly. He's doing the most. I don't know where in jail he's finding this. It's an amazing it's studio. studio. Why are we asking these questions? We don't ask. Why are you, it's just why, the why? Christmas yeah, miracle. Yeah, just, yeah. It happens. <laughs> Stefan Don, ladies and gentlemen. Yay. Yo, this Yo. record hurting featuring French Montana. Let's go, man. Ebro in the morning.